This is the Eventide Instant Phaser MK2, a recreation of the world's first rack mount phaser and arguably Pro Audio's first electronic effects box. This new version is an accurate recreation of the sound of the original and can be heard on legendary songs such as Led Zeppelin's Cashmere. The Instant Phaser was built with eight all-pass filters, each of which varies the input audio's phase relationship over a specific range of frequencies. We're going to look at the features of the plugin, which faithfully recreates the subtle details and enhances the original by allowing full automation and a few other tricks. The first thing to look at are the modes of the phaser. The original instant phaser had two outputs, a main and an aux out, and each one differed slightly to introduce phase differences. Each mode represents a different output configuration and the results are shallow, deep, and wide modes. The output of the phaser is a combination of the phase shifted signal and the input signal. The depth knob controls the amount of the input signal. As the two signals are closer in amplitude, the notches in the output spectrum are deeper. At 0%, the output is solely the phase shifted signal and you will hear a slight detuning effect. At 100%, the output is the addition of the phase shifted signal and the input. Now let's look at each of the modulation sources and how they affect the sound of the phaser. Each source will move the frequency at which the all-pass filters are operating, and each affects the signal differently. Choose oscillator, and the oscillator knob will change the rate at which the LFO moves the all-pass filters. The sync switch is used to sync the LFO to the tempo of the session. The oscillator rate is then set in subdivisions ranging from 1 64th of a note to 16 bars. The re-trig switch restarts the LFO. A trick is to automate this at the start of the phaser effect to ensure the LFO starts at specific times. Manual corresponds to the big dial in the center, which must be moved manually to change the voltage being sent to the filters. The manual knob is great for automating small phrases with phasing. Check out this trick for making one lick stand out over the others. Envelope follower uses the amplitude of the signal to affect the phase shift. Similar to how a compressor tracks levels, this mode uses the change in level of your signal to move the all-pass filters. Unlike the oscillator, which changes the signal up and down because it's a waveform, the envelope follower will instantly jump to the maximum phase shift and then fade out if it doesn't continue to receive a signal at that level. The release knob adjusts the amount of time it takes to fade back down to no phasing. The sidechain switch allows an external signal to trigger the envelope follower. Remote mode enables MIDI control over the phase shift. Note that in addition to selecting the mod source, the remote knob must be set to on. Remote is great for live use as you can modulate the phase shift using the modulation wheel on a keyboard without reaching for the mouse. age knob controls the age of the electrical components that make up the instant phaser. The physical world is not precise, but the digital world is, and when you emulate physical hardware using digital code, you're creating something that can exist in the real world. Because the instant phaser contained eight stages of all-pass filters, there was variation. Age takes it one step further by aging the original non-precise components.
feedback knob takes some of the affected signal and feeds it back with the input signal. This adds some gain and sharp resonances. It's great for emphasizing certain tones. Eventide Instant Phaser MK2 is a faithful recreation of the original box, and a fully functional 30-day demo can be downloaded from eventideaudio.com.